7.5 milligrams method in blue and 15 grams of creatine. Those are the two supplements that I take currently for optimal physical performance and cognitive function. And that's something that works for me. This is not a recommendation for anyone else. But both of those cross the blood-brain barrier and actually methane blue very easily and actually gets concentrated in the brain. Uh, for creatine, you need to take doses above between 5 and 10 grams before they spill over to the brain. So it takes a bit more for that. But again, both of them great in terms of enhancing cellular function, work very differently, of course, but ultimately both of them are involved in energy production in your cells in the mitochondria. So you can have a, a more efficient energy production Methylene blue is also a very good antioxidant, so it kind of neutralizes some free radicals. So there's some certain parameters that it has that help with uh, overall cellular health. And both of them, I think, are a good combination. Again, not a recommendation for anyone. There's a lot of contraindications for methylene blue, so don't just start taking that. Talk to your doctor first, of course. But both of them, I think, great supplements. And again, low doses for methylene blue are very important here. I see the biggest mistake that people make is taking a lot of it. It's a hormetic drug. At higher doses, it behaves actually in the opposite way. So there's something that is counterproductive. Low doses work really well. And what's the right dose for an individual person that can vary tremendously, actually? So for method in blue, I take one day off per week. And then sporadically, I take off a few weeks at a time, actually, for that one. Uh, for creatine, I take that continuously. There might be breaks at some point. I usually do this when I run out of a supplement. I take like a week off before I order the next batch. And that's sometimes a good thing for most of your supplements to do.